Hi, this is Ben from bestqsystems.com. Under this video tutorial, I'm going to show you on the uh, room chatting system that I created. So this is this system. What I'm going to show you is on how the system is working. I decided not to teach you on how to create this system from scratch because uh, it had it, it 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 involved a lot of procedures that it could have taken a lot of time. And again, the system you know looks it, it's a bit complicated so what i decided or oh, 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 how i think is that i'm going to post this system in my website at bestqsystems.com so for anybody who would wish to download this system they can just follow the link in the description under this video if you're watching this video uh, right from youtube okay so the system we are going to use only two browsers we are going to use the we're going to use Opera and Mozilla. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to log in here. And this, I'm going to log in with my account. So, and you can see here, I've logged in. And again, when I come here to this browser, this is Opera. I'm going to log in. Again, these users that have put in database have not encrypted their password, so you can uh, always check those passwords right from the database. Then I'm going to show you how to install the system once you have downloaded and how to start using it. Okay, so let me just log in. Now you can see I've logged in as a user called testing, and you can see in this browser. I've logged in as a Benson. Now I want Benson and Testing to chat. So for you to chat with them, uh, you are required to you are required to to select the person you want to chat with here. So I want to chat with the Testing. So I just click. And you're gonna see the message that we had chat we, we had chatted earlier. They are just here. So I'm going to set message to Testing. Okay. So let me just set I Testing. And you can hear the sound and you can hear the message I've come here in the real time then you can just open the message and you can see you have a new message from Benson click here to open the message and you can see hi testing how are you doing okay Benson I'm doing fine then you can see the system has given you an option to send a message on enter if you don't want to send a message on enter then you can uncheck that and you'll be given a button okay but i like it when it is on the enter so i had created another system on chatting system but that system was not encouraging on chatting system and this system uh, it can it have a lot of connection because it can have as many as connections as possible so let me just say this message and you can hear okay and you can hear the message have come here in real time and you can also hear the sound it open the message just click on the message you can say okay i'm doing fine and you can hear a sound again and you can see the message is coming here in real time and then this message is not using the php auto refresh because i realized auto refresh um, has some problems because it consumes much of the browser resources uh, and it makes the browser to be unresponsive. So what I decided, I created some listeners which are listening to the database. So once you download the system, you're going to see how the system is working. Okay. So let me just chat. And you can hear the message has come here. Then you can open the message. Okay, so this is the kind of the message that you want. So if you want to send a message to any person here, if they are logged in, you can hear. There are some things that I never did in this system. I never checked if someone is um, is, is active or not because uh, I I never had such I, I never had too much time for this. So that's the way the system is working. So let me show you how you're going to install the system. So once you download the system, let me just show you how you can install this system, okay? So once you download the system, you shall be having something like chat.zip and I'm going to delete the full system and I delete even the database and show you after downloading how you're going to install the system and start enjoying. Okay, so.
So this is my local host where I host my website. So if you've done PHP, you know where you host your websites, okay? Yeah, so hmm, let me just so you can see this folder chart contains the system and I'm going to delete it. Okay. Then I delete that. And again I'll come here and drop the database that I have. So I'll just come here home. And after coming here home, I can hmm, I can come here to databases. Then you can see all the databases that I have. The database that I want to, to drop is the, this database called chart. Okay. So I check it. Then I can drop it here. Okay. So right now I don't have the charting system. I just want to install it. So I'm going to copy this chart.zip and you can see. Okay, let me just copy it. And I come to my local host where I host my uh, websites in a folder called hdocs if you're using XAMPP. Okay, so I'm just going to paste this chat.zip here, depress. And then this chat.zip is in my local host. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to extract it. And I'm going to extract it here. Okay. Yeah, now you can see I have chat folder and everything has been set. Okay. The next thing is to import the database. So I'll just come here. The first thing you will need to come here to the okay. Let me just come to my database. So is to create a new database. And this database you call it chart. And make sure your database is called chart so that the connection can be created. So you can see I've created a database called chat and currently it has no tables. Then the next thing I'm going to make sure that the chat is clicked. So I click chat and after clicking chat I come to import. And after importing I come uh, okay, I choose a file, sorry. And after choosing a file, my my database if I haven't if I haven't shown you my database is here. So after opening the chat system the database will be found in the database and this is what you shall be importing called chat.sql which I've put in my desktop so I'm just going to upload that file okay I have it here chat.sql then after that I click go And you can see my table has been stored. Then I can just come here to the system. And let me just log out from the previous system. And you can see the system has loaded. Let me just log out from the previous system. Then I can just log in with, the, with some users because if you come to the database, you will find that I have some users here. If you come to the database, table called users in the chatting system, I'm going to users. And you'll find I have some users in users, but other tables are empty. Okay, so you can see I have all those users, so I can log in with one of them, doesn't matter. So, testing. This time I'm going to log in with the N. And the password for all those users is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So now you can see we've logged in and everything is working very fine. This is on, so on. So one one core feature of this system is that it's detecting if network uh, when network gets lost. So suppose I stop my Apache and let's see how it's going to happen. I've stopped my Apache. Let's just watch what's going to happen after disconnecting our system from the network. And you can see the system is having a pop-up. We are having a trouble connected to the network. Please wait where we'll connect you. In my video tutorials, I have a video teaching you on how to detect that person, someone's network has has lost. And as if that is not enough, you reconnect them once the network has come. Okay, and this is doing these things in real time. If you come to the opera, you'll find the same cases happening here. 
and if I connect to the system, and if I connect, I start Apache, I connect, you will see they will reconnect our users. And you can see after connecting, the system is working. So the next thing you, you have gotten about chatting, so if you want to chat to one, you can just click on one, and then you chat. I am. How are you doing? And you can you can see I have sent a message to one, and you can see the message is coming in real time. This is one of the most complex system that I've ever created. And of course, I never finish the system because like messages have not grouped them with a certain criteria. I'm just showing the new messages of them. But you know, in your system, you are, you need to group them. So once I get time, I'll show you how to create this system from scratch. Uh, just go to my YouTube channel and check out those other videos concerning the how to connect to how to detect that the network has lost and try to reconnect to your users. So, with those few remarks, I think you can just download the system and continue doing. Nice time as you continue with your projects. Goodbye. My name is Ben from BestQSystems.com. Remember to like and also subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.